Keep your rolling action. Hi, welcome everybody. Um, guess what I'm going to talk about? Okay, Christian persecution again. Um, like, sorry, but it's a real thing and we all suffer as a result of it. Even when we don't know about it, uh, the body of Christ is persecuted uh, globally, especially in Nigeria. So this week I'm going to talk about ISWAP, which is Islamic State Western African Province. It's a splinter group of Boko Haram who you may remember uh, kidnapped some 200 girls, I think, some years ago. Well, they're at it again. Um, and on the 18th of August, which was a Tuesday, it's reported by persecution.org, which is International Christian Concerns website, that militants from uh, ISWAP attacked the northeastern town of Kukawa. And during the attack, they killed multiple soldiers and injured others. Um, according to Deutsche Bell, the attack was conducted by terrorists who arrived on 22 trucks. Um, killed off the military personnel who were guarding the village and they were also then able to take more than 100 people hostage. Um, I'm sure you don't need reminding but I will anyway that most hostages do not uh, receive ransom or even they're not even given the opportunity they are summarily executed um, sometimes often after their hostage videos have been given. Again I'm going to direct comments where the, the hostage who was later executed is able to still praise God and uh, pray for his family during that awful time. What I would like to say is this will not stop. It's 24 hours a day. It's constant. Um, Christ obviously says that if they hate you, it's because they hated me first. The darkness did not understand. And uh, that reflects on us as the body of Christ. What I would say is that even though this is surely in God's plan, uh, ultimately, as in Romans 28 and Jeremiah 29, 11, I'll put the verses on the screen or downstairs as it were in the uh, description. Please do pray for these people. God already knows what they need and what is in the hearts of these uh, ISWAP people who I see because they are wholeheartedly deluded. They have taken the word of God and it's basically pearl before swine. They are Islamic in their um, ideology and their outward look. Boko Haram is of course also tribal, so they don't consider other Nigerians to be legitimate um, people actually. So what I would say is please do pray for Nigeria the Nigerian Christians, especially these people, need our prayers. They also uh, need financial assistance via persecution.org and Open Doors and recognized Christian charities who are able to go and pick up the pieces. And, uh, you know, oftentimes when it's a single family who's been affected, they're able to step in and, you know, minister to widows and widowers and those who have been orphaned um, or been made childless. So please do pray. Come and see us on Parlour. Come and see us on the official authentic Discord server called SOCO, Soldiers of Christ Online. And I will see you very soon. What I'd like to say is rather than end on a downer, all things uh, work to the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. And that's really good news, like apart from the gospel. And if you don't know Christ, please do uh, contact one of us, uh, pray earnestly and sincerely, and uh, try to repent even if you don't know how to. And just accept that one man who was God came to earth and died specifically for you. If you were the only human being on earth, he would have still gone through that suffering and that disconnection from his, uh, you know, his father. So please remember us in your prayers as we remember you, especially remember Nigerian Christians. And I'm going to say God bless you. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.